Panasonic, finally done it. You put phase detect autofocus, the one thing everyone's been asking for in your cameras. What does this mean for other companies like Sony and Canon? And what is the future going forward for Lumix? That'll be all going down in this video. I have not yet to get my hands on that camera, but a couple things I am impressed on is it does shoot 6K 3x2 up to 30 frames a second in 10 bit. There is a 30 minute record limit to that, but if you jump down 24, you get unlimited recording. You can shoot 4K 10 bit all the way up to 60 frames a second, which is really, really great. There is an S35 crop to 60, but if you want to just go into 24 or 30, you don't get that and you have that full frame sensor, which is also really, really nice. A whole new IBIS system that is has a 200% better performance compared to the S5. So that is great that they're still trying to be leaders in the image stabilization realm, even in their full frame, not just their micro four thirds. So that's another great thing. And all of this is coming in a great package just around that $2,000 mark. So what does this mean that the face detect autofocus is in Lumix systems? There's been a lot of different comparisons that are going around online. And the biggest thing that I've been noticing personally from trying to reviewing and seeing what other people are seeing and recognizing is that Panasonic is kind of rubbing shoulders to Sony. So that means that they're getting really, really close with their first round and first rendition of their face detect autofocus the fact that it's getting this close to sony where it's not almost perfect sony autofocus level but it's right there with it is going to be huge and on top of all of that i think that panasonic finally hit the sweet spot now that they have good autofocus and amazing video centric features in their camera like shutter angle waveform markers, all of this other stuff that should just be in a camera system. All the other brands kind of leaned back on autofocus being their biggest selling point. For example, Sony, the Sony a7S III doesn't have shutter. They don't have frame markers. They don't have all this other professional features like waveform, vector scope, all these other things. And Lumix cameras had all of this stuff, but it was kind of trade off. You get all these great video features, but terrible autofocus, or you get great autofocus and not all of these features that make your life as a cinematographer or videographer way easier. Now that Lumix just released the S5 Mark II, this has completely switched the game. And I think this will be the year that the majority of people will probably start switching over to Panasonic and finally going into the Lumix direction with a V-Log, which is honestly one of my favorite coloring profile and log systems. I do believe that the S5 Mark II just kind of feels like what the S5 should have been in the first place. It's not a huge upgrade if you already own the S5 besides the autofocus system. All the other sort of things that are in the camera are pretty similar to what's in the S5. So I think the next roundition when they come out with the S6 or S7 or whatever they're calling it, I think that will be the camera to buy because that'll probably be around that $2,500 to $3,000 mark point, but probably have 4K, 120 frames a second, 1080, 240 frames a second. A lot of the specs that the GH6 has, but with phase detect. Or alternatively, they will release a GH6 Mark II or GH7 that has all these features with phase detect, and that will be one of the next cameras to buy. So what a great way to start the new year with Lumix coming in with the big right punch, big left punch, saying they are gonna be ahead in the round. They're finally in the phase detect with hybrid autofocus using contrast and phase detect. So kind of a best of both worlds and coming out with an amazing camera starting the new year. What are your guys' thoughts about the new camera and what are you thinking? Are you gonna get the S5 Mark II? Are you holding off until the next camera? Are you getting the GH6? What are your guys' thoughts? And if you wanna see another video that I would highly recommend, I just got the GH6 and these are my first impressions on that camera. Check that video out right there and YouTube recommends this video right here. Thanks guys, peace.